Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. These uh, little clips go, go out every Sunday morning at around, I don't know, 8 o'clock in the morning. So if you want to get these each week, go, go to the naods.com website, scroll down, and you'll see a little block where it says something like sign up for our weekly training sessions or something like that and get yourself signed up make sure that our emails are not going into your junk mail and if they are let them know that it is not junk mail so everybody has a different system and i just want to let you know that sometimes these will go into your junk mail make sure you make us a safe sender. I guess that's what it's called. Anyway, my name is Michelle Stelling and I'm the founder of the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. And every Sunday I bring to you a little clip, a little snippet of one of our classes, our members only classes. So if you are a member, you can watch the whole entire show. And it will be uh, inside of the 2020 members only classes. And you could do a search, I believe. Let's just go ahead and try it. You can do a search on landscapes and you should be yeah you should be able to find it that way too so this little search button here is really helpful so the whole entire class will be found inside of the members membership Academy and you can watch the whole thing but in today's little clip we are going to talk about masking and grids and a couple other things all within like 10 minutes or so. So I hope you enjoy this little snippet. Next week will be part two. So stick around for next week too. Hope you enjoy, bye for now. So here's the final. And as you note, there's not a whole lot of layers over here. And there is what's called a mask. These two, the top layer is of course, the text. So if I turn them on and off, you're going to see what's going on on that particular la layer. So that one there is a simple little uh, border. And then here's another border. I, I like borders for some reason. I'm just really stuck on borders. And then this right here is the original photo. And then the mask. Okay, the, the mask is at the bottom. So it's really a, real, a simple layout. You just got to know the steps. So let's get started on that one. I'm going to put the mask on first because that's the thing that freaks people out the most. So let's get that out of the way. I went to Breckenridge and went for a hike with my cousin. And this is a cool little, little town. It's like uh, called the Mayflower Gulch. It's in Breckenridge, near Breckenridge and Leadville, if anybody's familiar with that. So we hiked up this few miles up into this little area where they used to do coal mining and it was super interesting and I just loved it. So I'm gonna like take a bunch of pictures, of course. And this one here was the one I kind of liked the best as far as the atmosphere of the landscape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna go file and place. I'm gonna place what's called a mask. It's kind of like a big brush. I'm going to enlarge that to cover my whole entire page. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit as well. So I want the text to be kind of straight. But what you do with the mask is what you, you want to just take what's black and make it appear. <laughs> the photo that's in the black, let me show you here. I'm going to double click on that background so it becomes a layer. I'm going to take that and put it on the top. So anything that is black, see over here to the right hand side, that layer over there, anything that's black is gonna show through. So let's right click and choose create clipping mask. See how that works? Isn't that cool? Let me control Z to show that again. If you right click, you can create clipping mask or here's another way, you can hold down the shift or the alt key or the option on the Mac. See that little square there? That will tell you that you're gonna create a mask. And there you have it. Yeah, it does. So you wanna put that on the top there, Leslie. The, the photo will go on the top. Now I want this to be flattened. So I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna merge them or flatten, whichever and that will make that white background there. Now we're gonna work on top of that image. 
Now here's a few little tips and tricks that some of my members may or may not know. Um, we are going to go into the view section and show the grid. Now it's very light, but this is really good for when I wanna add borders, which I do regularly. But I don't want these grids. I want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go up into the edit feature and I'm gonna to go to preferences and guides and grid. I'm also going to change the grid every two inches instead. So did you guys see what just happened there? Look at the background and look at the grid. When I do one, there's lots of little grids. When I do two, it gives it more grids. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that. Let me do a different color here. Mm, red doesn't show up that much either, but just check the difference here. Let's just go out with one. Click on OK. Now they're tiny, right? And if I go back into Edit, Preferences, and Guides and Grids, and I want it to go every two inches, now you can see the difference, right? I hope you can. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer on top of that, and I'm going to go in. This is kind of different and odd, but this is the way I do it. You can do it so many different ways. I'm going to go get my rectangle elliptical marquee tool. See this? the rectangle marquee tool, and I'm going to click and drag, and it's gonna bounce to the grid. So now I got marching ants, you may or may not be able to see them very well, but it bounced to that grid. Sometimes I eyeball it, sometimes I do it perfect. This time I'm gonna do it perfect just so y'all can see. Now I want this to be a stroke of, I'm gonna bring in this dark blue, okay? So I'm gonna to go to Edit, Stroke Outline Selection. I'm gonna go with a 20. I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad. I'm gonna go on the inside and click on OK. That's a pretty good size. Did you see that? Let me do it again. I'll do it with another layer. So I kinda of like that. It's a little thick, but maybe the next one will be a little bit less thick. I'm gonna go with a new layer over here to the right-hand side. As you see, this little thing in the upper right-hand corner gives me a new layer. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get this rectangle marquee tool. This time, I'm gonna click on the foreground color and I'm gonna make it a gray color, more of a blue-gray. Click on OK. I go into the upper left-hand corner and I'm just gonna go ahead and come in one grid earlier. You see that? And now I got my little marching ants. I'm gonna go up to edit, stroke outline selection. I'm gonna go with maybe a 15 instead, maybe a little bit thinner, okay? Now you see that I have a thinner line. Now these could be closer together and I'm gonna go to view and not check the grid so we can not see that. Thank you.